Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2022 Shadow Cruiser 228 RKS. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV. Then we will close it all up at the end and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2022 Shadow Cruiser 228 RKS travel trailer. We are gonna start back here in the rear section and kind of work our way around. So kitchen across the back, you have a little bit of storage underneath the sink area here, a couple pull out drawers, Large undermount stainless sink, high rise faucet, some upper cabinetry area here, big windows overlooking the rear of the RV, and both of those windows do open. They are also tented windows as well. Over here on the left, we have our rear bathroom area here. So we have a step and shower. There is a skylight up above. They do a nice rounded shower bar as well, just to kind of give you a little more elbow room. Some storage underneath your sink area and some shelf space. Of course, uh, the uh, toilet here does have a foot flush on it instead of a hand flush. Medicine cabinet area here. There is air conditioning, heat, and also a little vent fan in the bathroom as well. You have your propane leak detector down below, electric box with your breakers and fuses, and you do have quite a bit of well, pantry space area here and this is actually pretty deep it's probably two and a half feet deep roughly do you have a big slide out here on the slide out you have your graystone microwave with some storage beside it Furion hood range light and fan. Matching Furion oven, which is a three burner stove top. Does have the lit up knobs you can see there. Has a light inside the oven as well. Has the glass front. There is some storage down below and also beside that area as well. They're currently using the Norcold 12 volt refrigerator. They're also using a woven floor material on the slide instead of like an actual carpet, which some brands use. Uh, this woven material is used in a lot of pontoon boats and some different marine type stuff as well. Now just kind of standing back looking forward here, I'm not sure how well it shows up in the video, uh, but there is a pretty nice arch to this ceiling here. You'll also see that when we get outside, uh, nice arch on the outer roof as well. There's ducted AC running down through here. You have a couple speakers inside of here. It is also pre-prepped with the uh, 360, a wine guard 360 antenna, and that would allow you to get this aftermarket wine guard gateway and do like an aftermarket Wi-Fi that you can subscribe through like AT&T or Verizon, T-Mobile, one of those guys. Thomas Payne furniture that they're currently using right here. So you do have theater seat and straight across from your theater seat is gonna be your TV, which is on the televator. So you can push a button and it'll go up and down. The dinette will make into a bed, so you could sleep maybe one or two small grandchildren there. Or children, your children, depending on how old you are. You do have your storage underneath of there as well. 
some more storage up above. The window behind the TV does open. The window behind your theater seat and beside your theater seat also open. You have Camper King bed here. Now this bed is a sliding bed. So you can unlatch this bed and it will actually slide left or right depending on what you might want to do with it. There is storage underneath of there. And you know, to kind of get to some of your storage, if you want to slide the bed left or right, you can do so to make it a little easier to get to what you, whatever you stash under there. Or if you have pets, it's a good place. Maybe the dog or cat or something might go underneath of there as well. Window on both sides of the bed, those also open. There's a roof vent up top here as well. And then you have overhead cabinet space and you also have a closet on the side there as well. The lights up there underneath that cabinet area also have USB charger ports on them. There is an electric outlet on each side of the bed. Your main control panel will go over when we come back in, but you got your control panel up high and there is a radio down here as well. Overall, a lot of nice features here. Great couples coach. We're going to head outside. I want to show you the outside and then we're going to come back in here and close it all up. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2022 Shadow Cruiser 228 RKS travel trailer here. We're gonna start here on the door side, kind of spin our way around. So first things up, you have a white fiberglass exterior with a lower black metal skirting. The fiberglass is attached to the upgraded Asdale composite material where a lot of brands use a eighth inch Luon board. This composite material is much less likely to have any type of delamination issues, especially from water damage if you do actually have a water leak. So definitely give them bonus points for the wall construction, aluminum tube framing in the wall construction as well. You have power awning with an LED light strip built in, adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff purposes, manual override in case of an electronic failure, and the front arm head. Up front here, you have a large, nicely finished off pass-through uh, pass storage compartment here. And this right here has motion light on each side. You have a pull-up tray that will actually recess down into the floor when you're not wanting to pull up anything that you got in there. But you can kind of have a little bit of hidden storage, basically. On the storage doors, they are held up by magnetic holders. They have the key alike feature, which basically means the key for this latch also works the entry door and the other latches on the RV. Slam lock baggage door as well. You do have power stabilizer jacks. So you have power jack on the front, power jack on the rear, and then also a power tongue jack you'll see when we get back around to there. Enclosed underbelly as well. You have the more ride step above step here. Nice entry step here. It's rated for 500 pounds where a traditional hover step is only rated for 300 pounds. There's also a light underneath of there to kind of just illuminate the area at nighttime. Large folding entry handle here to help you get in and out of the RV. Next to that entry handle is your model number. There's also a couple other stickers there. One, the extended uh, season package, basically telling you, you know, enclosed underbelly, forced air heat down into there to try and extend you into colder weather. And also a sticker there talking about the three-year limited structural warranty. A lot of manufacturers just have a one-year warranty. Here you do have a three-year limited structural warranty as well. Not all manufacturers have that, so again, another nice feature to have. 
you do have tented windows. There are some brands still on the market doing clear glass. It's really nice to have tented windows just to help keep the RV from heating up inside and also to help keep it from getting some sun fade inside as well. You don't have to leave your blinds down as much inside. You do have the window in the entry door there. If you uh, want, you can get an aftermarket shade for that as well. There's two speakers on the outside here. Double axle unit, you have aluminum wheels, drum brakes, traditional leaf spring axle. Just above there is electric outlet, cable outlet, and your freshwater gravity tank fill. Just down below in between the axles, you can see pop up there in the picture, is low point water drains and the fresh water tank drain as well. Little tough to get to them right there, uh, but it is kind of nice that the tanks are above the axles and stuff. Just kind of makes it a little more uh, weight proportionate when it's traveling. Back here on the rear, again, power stabilizer jacks. Coming on around to the back end of the RV here, you do have a traditional four inch square tube bumper. A lot of people will put a bike rack or something along those lines on the back bumper. It's only rated for a few hundred pounds, so be a little careful. The factory already puts the spare tire and the mount already on the back of here as well. Furnace exhaust out the rear here. And then you also have on this side, black tank flush to clean out your toilet tank. You have a cold water spray port, which is nice to have. It's not too far away from your dump station back here. In case you accidentally make a mess, you can use that cold water spray port to kind of hose things down. Cable satellite inlets and your city water inlet and your 30 amp electric service plug-in. It is a detachable power cord stretching out probably about 25 or 30 feet long. Looking up top here, it is pre-prepped for the Furion observation camera on the back. Nice aftermarket feature to have. Definitely recommend doing that if you uh, don't do it from the dealer, do it yourself kind of scenario. Uh, definitely gonna help you. Then it's also prepped for the portable ladder. So there's a little blocking up there on there that you can attach this new Lippert portable uh, on the go ladder, they call it. Uh, talk with your salesperson about that. It's already set up for that. You can buy that aftermarket as well. Now looking up top at the roof, this thing has a nice high arch roof, great for water runoff and stuff. Uh, but up there you can see things like your skylights, your air conditioner, uh, that 360 antenna, you know, plumbing stack vents, all that type of stuff up there. You do have to get up there from time to time and maintain those seals. Check it out. Make sure nothing's cracking open. You want to keep water out of these things. You do not want to have any type of water leak ruin your fun. Back here on the corner is your six gallon gas electric water heater. Down below is your gray and black tank dump handles here. Everything comes out of this one section. Slide out is a 12 volt slide. You'll see that close up here in just a little bit. But this slide out is also prepped for the Soul Air slide awning topper. That will cover the top of the room. Nice feature to have, helps shade the room. Again, helps repel water, keeps leaves, twigs, debris, stuff like that off of there so you don't have to worry about getting up there to clean it off. Stove exhaust out right here as well. The other side of the large storage compartment here, and you can kind of see down in here now, that thing will drop down in there. Over here, we also are prepped for the tire link monitoring system. This again, another nice feature to add in aftermarket if it interests you. This basically allows you to kind of keep track of what's going on with your tire pressure and I believe temperature as well. Um, so definitely talk with your sales guy about that information. Side prep for the portable solar panel. So if you wanted to do solar on the unit, this is pre-prepped for a solar panel. 
Here we have some really important informational stickers. I'm gonna pop these up for you here real quick. The very first one popping up is your main data sticker. This has production date, VIN number, axle size, but most importantly on this sticker is the gross vehicle weight. It's the most you can load the RV up to before you overload it. Axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined. Do not exceed that number, very important. Next is your unloaded vehicle weight sticker slash cargo capa uh, capacity sticker, basically telling you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line. And then you have the cargo information as well, basically telling you how much gear you can load into that RV before you exceed that first sticker's gross vehicle weight. And last but not least, tire sticker. Very important here, one, it tells you tire size, but most importantly, tire pressure. Make sure you check your tire pressure, very important. If the pressure drops too low, the tires cannot hold the weight of the RV properly and they are more easily gonna blow out on you. So make sure you do check your tire pressure. And while you're at it, also check your lug nuts torque from time to time. RVs get a lot of twisting and side load on their lugs, these aluminum wheels and stuff on campers and other types of trailers as well can sometimes wiggle loose a little bit. So very important to check your lug nuts as well. Up front here, you have a nice three quarter fiberglass front cap, couple LED light strips built in, lower black metal diamond plate. Two 20 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator, power tongue jack with a built in light, manual override, and then you also have two and five sixteenths hitch ball. You have seven way Bargman wiring plug. Very important to make sure your truck has a brake control to control the brakes. That all kind of pre wires through here. Heavy duty safety chains, breakaway cable. There is also room for two batteries, depending on your battery size, but there's room for up to two batteries back here. Comes with zero from the RV maker. When you purchase from Couches RV Nation, you'll get at least one. If you'd like a second, talk with your salesperson about that. They will be glad to go over that with you. All right, we're gonna head back inside. I wanna show you what this thing looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back inside the new 2022 Shadow Cruiser 228 RKS, and we're gonna close this thing up real quick. So first things up, when you are ready to close things up, you wanna come in here. This is your main control panel area. We have slide button, awning button, a battery disconnect. We got some light switches for say the inside here where we're at, awning light switch, auxiliary light switch for underneath, cap light switch, water heater electric, water heater gas, water pump, battery condition, fresh black and gray. So we got everything kind of going on right here. But what we're gonna do here is close up this slide. Again, this is a 12 volt slide. And this slide is gonna come straight in pretty much over top of your main subfloor. Make sure your floor is clean because the slide will run over what's ever in the way and could rip your floor. So very important. When you push the button, make sure everything is out of its way. This is a traditional rack and pinion 12 volt slide system. Does have a manual override in case of an electronic failure. Kind of hear that ratchety noise, basically telling you it is all the way in. So you can see when it is closed up, I could still come in here, I could still use the bed. So no sleeping interruptions. I could come in here, still walk on back to the rear, use the bathroom if I'm stopping at a rest area, grab something out of my refrigerator. I could come back here, wash my hands if I needed to. So I still have pretty much full use of the RV. Granted, it's pretty cramped here in the middle section, but it is still fully usable closed up. That's pretty important to a lot of people that are doing long haul travels and stuff. Um, you know, if you're stopping at that rest area, stopping at the grocery store, wanna load things up or whatever, you know, you can still come in here and do what you need to do without having to worry about opening. Even if you're just sleeping overnight at a rest area or something like that, you know, you get tired, pull off the side of the road, come back here, take a nap, you can do that. 
When you're ready to take it on back out, all you got to do again, come back over here to this control panel. You're going to hit this button to take it right on back out. Real simple. If you need to stop and go make sure you're not about to run into a you know, water pole or electric pole or something at the campsite, just let off the button, walk out there, see what's going on, uh, you know, and then just hit the button to take it right on the rest of the way out. Again, guys, don't forget to check out the people at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. They will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. Thanks again.